I just sold that computer right there online. Well, here is the build. It's a nice little budget NDP gaming PC. Looks pretty good and it performs pretty good too. Okay, so this computer right here, it cost me $331.16 to put this thing all together. That includes the Windows key, the case, the RGB cable, everything for 330 bucks. Not a bad little price. Now you might be curious the specs, but I actually don't have time to tell you because I need to get this thing ready to be shipped out tomorrow. It's like 5 p.m. right now, so a little bit too late to ship it tonight. I still have to update the BIOS. I want to run a few Cinebench stress tests to ensure some more stability after I update all the drivers, finalize everything, make sure it's all updated and ready to go. So I'm gonna do all that. And then as I said, that $331 price tag did include the Windows key and I bought it from today's video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Super CDK. If you've built a gaming PC before, you've probably seen that watermark that's telling you to activate Windows. Or if you flip computers for profit, then you need to activate those builds as well. Instead of overpaying for a retail key, visit Super CDK down below. They have Windows 10 keys for as low as $17 and Windows 11 keys for as low as $22 when you apply the discount code SPLA. Whatever Windows version you end up going with, the discount code will save you at least $5. Once you get the key, activating it is super easy. You just copy and paste it into your window activation settings, click activate, and bam, you got rid of that watermark. Thank you Super CDK, and be sure to check out their links in the description. Yo, good morning. It's the next day after I sold that computer. Just getting ready for my morning routine. If you want to know what that is, you can go ahead and check out the day in the life video that I made. Anyways, I just wanted to hop on camera real quick and just share my experience. Yesterday when I sold that computer, it just felt, I don't know, it reminded me of the first time I ever sold a computer locally. Like I was just so happy when I got that notification from Java. It's all like, hey, congrats on your first computer sale. My face all lit up with a smile. It's pretty nice. And then also like the buyer, he messaged me or she or whoever, they messaged me and they were just like, hey, I'm super excited. This is my first gaming PC. I don't know, I just, Makes me feel good about what I'm doing, helping others out get a gaming PC that they want. Oh, this feels nice. I'll be back in a few hours and then we'll pack this thing up, ship it out and collect that profit. Well, in like four days once Jawa releases my money. Yeah, that's why I sold it, jawa.gg. Alrighty, we are back. Got the fresh fit on, just black tee, blue jeans. But let's pack up that PC. Okay, so in the past, I wanted to try to sell computers online. I just never really fully committed to it. However, I did purchase a lot of like shipping stuff. So luckily for me, I already have it all. Like right here, got a big box of just packing tape. And then in this little bag here, I have a bunch of little Instapack. This is just foam that you put inside the PC to protect like the graphics card and shipping. And then tucked away at the top of my closet <laughs> is a little roll of fragile stickers. So we'll just stick those like all over the box. Just saying one final goodbye to the computer. Here it is looking really nice, shining with that RGB. And also Loki, I wanted to confirm it's still working before I actually pack it in the box. Last night, like I said, I did update the BIOS, ran some Cinebench stress test, ran two CPU ones, two GPU ones. So that's about 40 minutes of benchmarks and it ran perfectly. Goodbye PC, it was nice knowing you. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, obviously unplug the PC and I'm gonna lay it down flat and take off the glass panel so we can get the Instapack in here. Okay, so here's what the Instapack looks like. There is instructions on how to do it. Just follow them, but you have to be really quick because it starts expanding, so you have to get it in the PC. So you press down on A, and then. And then you wanna tuck it around the graphics card and also get the glass panel on because it will start expanding. Next step is obviously just get it back in the box. And for shipping, I'm just shipping it in the box that the computer case came in. Now, normally a lot of companies, like bigger companies, they get another big box and ship that box inside of a bigger box. But one, I don't have a, I don't have a big box available. Two, I'm gonna pack it really secure. There's foam and I'm gonna stuff it with styrofoam as well. Not styrofoam, bubble wrap. The real challenge is trying to match up these foam pieces. I think I actually just did it first try though. 
we go. In the box it goes. And this DIY PC case shipped with this piece of styrofoam. And I'm just gonna stuff that right there on the side of the tempered glass. Also throwing in a power cord. And then right here is a bunch of bubble wrap. I've just been saving these from all of my eBay deals. So I'm actually gonna take out the PC so I can lay the bubble wrap on the bottom. So it can kind of help protect the underside of it. Foam insert back in on tempered glass side panel. Power cord. And then I think I'm gonna tear the bubble wrap. That's enough right there. The last thing I'm including in the box is just a little thank you note. Just says, thanks for your purchase. Uh, please leave a review. Hope you enjoy the PC. Handwriting's not the best, but it is a little touch of personalization. Got the thank you note in there. Let's close it up and then tape it up. I'm not the best at taping boxes. I'm also going to tape the underside of the box a little bit more just to like provide more stability because it is heavier now. Last and final touches are these fragile stickers and best believe I'm going to place them everywhere. Might be a little overkill, but I want to ensure that they see it. <laughs> so we're placing one here. We're just going to place it on all the sides. And for good measure, we'll place one right on top. There we go. Just dropped off the computer. Also had a package waiting for me, so I picked that up. But I'll see you when it arrives to the buyer and when the funds get deposited into my account. It is Thursday though. It'll probably happen on Monday, hopefully. Okay, the computer is showing delivered. So those funds are on the way to my bank account. The specs for this computer are as follows. The CPU is the Ryzen 5 2600. It's a nice little six core 12 threaded processor. And despite its age, it still performs pretty good in 2024. I paired that with 16 gigabytes of RAM clocked at 3200 megahertz and a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. All of those parts are sitting on an MSI B450 Gaming Plus Max motherboard. It's ATX form factor, has four RAM slots, two M.2 slots, and provides a great upgrade path thanks to AM4. Yes, I'm still saying AM4 has an upgrade path. Go ahead and fight me in the comments. The last performance part for this build is the graphics card. I went with the GTX 1660 Super. I got a model from MSI, but it really doesn't matter. Finishing up the build, I went with the 500 watt power supply, this DIY PC case. It originally came with three ARGB fans, but I added an extra one in the back of the case just to add some extra airflow and of course, extra RGB. Then I tied the whole build together with some simple black cable extensions. Oh, and of course, the Windows key for $15.56. All those parts added up gives us a total build price of $341.16. I listed the computer for $560. Within two days, it sold, but I didn't get the full amount, so is it worth it? It? Well, I mean, of course it's worth it. I still made profit. But let's talk about the fees and then you can really see if it's worth it for you. So as I said, it sold for 560, but I enabled shipping insurance and that cost me $7. And then Jawa's fee plus their payment fee was an extra $50.40. So that leaves me with $502.60. But also let's not forget about the shipping materials that I used. I'm not sure the exact prices of everything, but I just calculated it is $10. So subtract that from the $502 we get, and that leaves us with $161 in profit. Honestly, that's pretty good, especially for being online. When I flip computers online, I wanna aim for at least 150 bucks in profit, and we beat that by $10. So is it worth it? Well, for me, I think it is. I list them online and on Facebook Marketplace, and sometimes my local marketplace is just slow. This actually ended up selling faster than my local marketplace. Anyways, I'm gonna get to building more computers so I can list them on Jawa, and my Jawa account is linked down below if you're interested in it. If you like computer flipping content, then go and click here and watch my whole series where I'm flipping computers to save up the profits to buy a house.